Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to cook dinner together. We are making buffalo chicken pasta. This is a favorite in our house, and we haven't had it in a long time. It is delicious, paired with a nice crisp green salad and maybe a roasted vegetable on the side. So without further ado, let's get making dinner. The ingredients we're gonna need for the buffalo chicken pasta, one pound of cooked chicken shredded. I just did this in the Instant Pot and then used my hand mixer to shred it up. We're going to need some cream cheese. The original recipe calls for eight ounces. I cut it down to six ounces. So if I remember correctly, it was really, really creamy last time and I just wanna to try to save a few points. So I have six ounces of light cream cheese. We're also gonna need a third of a cup of buffalo sauce. Now, if a third of a cup is too much heat for you to handle, by all means, reduce it. We are also going to need a half a cup of chicken broth. This is my home canned chicken broth. We are going to need some spices. We are going to need some salt, some black pepper, some garlic powder, and some paprika. We are also going to need some blue cheese dressing. You can use the blue cheese dressing of your choice. This is uh, my homemade blue cheese dressing and there is a video on this. I will link it above and below for you. And then you are going to need 10 ounces of uncooked pasta. This is homemade pasta that I made today, but you do not have to use homemade. You can by all means use dry pasta. So that is it. And this dinner pulls together so fast, you will be amazed. So in a skillet over medium heat, we wanna heat the skillet a little bit, and then we are going to add our cream cheese. Our buffalo sauce, one third of a cup and a half a cup of chicken broth. We are gonna whisk this together until creamy. It's gonna take a little while for the cream cheese to break down and begin to melt. Okay, our cheese is all melted, so we're gonna add in our spices. We have a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Okay, you don't want it boiling, so turn your heat down if it's getting a little too hot. Okay, stir those in. And now we are going to add in our blue cheese dressing. Now this is my homemade blue cheese dressing and it is very, very thick. It's okay if yours is store-bought and not thick. It will work just the same. Okay, we're gonna Whisk that in until it's nice and combined and smooth. Mmm, it smells so good. Now, like I said, you can totally adjust the heat on this. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is add our chicken have our one pound of shredded chicken. And we are just going to stir that and make sure it's combined. And then we are going to turn the heat down pretty low and we are just gonna let this cook and simmer for about 10 minutes just to build the flavors. While this is cooking, Start cooking your pasta. Okay. 
Okay, our pasta is done and this has been simmering for 10 minutes. So we are just gonna add our pasta right in. And just give it a really good stir to make sure everything is well combined. And that is it, my friends. How quick and easy did this come together? And a lot of the time, it's exactly what you have on hand. If you do not like blue cheese, 100% substitute ranch dressing. If Adam was here, that's probably what I would have done. But he is not eating dinner with us tonight, so the blue cheese lovers got their way. So there you have it. That is it. Quick, easy, delicious dinner. Let's talk about serving size and points. So my friends, there you have it. How quick and easy. Now for me on my personal points, a, this serves five. For me on my personal points because of my zero point foods and such, this is seven points for about a cup and an eighth, cup and a quarter. You can definitely change around your ingredients to make it you know, if you wanted to use, I guess, I don't know if that free cream cheese would really work. I don't think it would melt. Um, but that's one thing you could do to reduce the points a little bit if the points are too high for you. Personally, for me, seven points, not too bad. Um, we're serving it with roasted broccoli, like a nice green salad. So I'm getting a lot of points back and I'm also just bulking up my dinner with some good fiber to help keep me full, so. That is it. I will leave the recipe linked in the description box below. And in the recipe, there will be a link right to the WW website where you can check your personal points if you are a USA member. If not, you can put it in whatever recipe builder that you use. I will also leave a link to the blue cheese dressing recipe as well. So my friends, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy cook with me and I will see you in my next video.